welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things. Uh, and today we have a bit of a haul video for you. So Fred buys things, I guess. Um, I've been talking recently a lot about how like, I went on a mini vacation, eight days to Quebec, uh, Montreal and Quebec City specifically. Um, and I just kind of wanted to share some of the like souvenirs and things that I picked up along the way. Um, two main things, actually, I should say. Uh, I went and did a mini Dollarama haul. That's kind of what you see in front of you. Um, and then around Quebec uh, City, there were some really cool like artisans and um, creators. And so I picked up some stuff specifically from them. I'm not going to show you like the tchotchkes and stuff that I got, but... I did want you to see um, um, some of the things that artists are creating uh, in and around the city. So, so this, ooh. <clears throat> so this video is going to be in two parts. Part one is going to be talking about the Dollarama stuff that I picked up like the mini Dollarama haul. Basically, you can see it all in front of you. And then part two is going to be talking about the artist collectives um, and some of the things that I picked up. That will be in like subgroups as well. So um, all of the things will be timestamped in the comments for you or in the description box. Um, and you've seen kind of where they fall um, on the screen for you as well. <clears throat> um, if you saw last Monday's video, you will know that um, I had some sm smoke issues, some asthma issues from the forest fires, um, and it's still lingering today. Uh, so that's why my voice may sound a little different, a little raspy, but it's much improved from um, when I filmed those other videos. So anyway, part one. Uh, things I got at Dollarama. Dollarama actually had some really cool things, but I had kind of overheated and was a bit hot by the time that I was shopping there. So I only picked up three things. These two cross stitch kits. Um, this bird looks like a more um, uh, elaborate bird than the one that I picked up last year. Same color family, same kind of flower and little bird, but it's a little different. It's a little fun. Um, I will film it and uh, post it on my page. Oh, there's a needle threader included. That's pretty cool. It was a dollar seventy five. And on the back, you see you have a needle threader and needles, some thread, the instructions, the um, Ada fabric, and the embroidery loop. Honestly, these little kits for the cost are not that terrible. Um, and it looks like these ones actually came with metal needles as opposed to the one I picked up last year that had um, plastic needles. This is from the same company, so I assume it's the same things, but these are just like little flowers so I'll set these up and stitch them and then you'll see them as like fun little like Monday videos or something you would think I'm be tired of cross stitch what with the spring angel that I've been working on but nope still enjoy it and then we've got this sticker by number it was a dollar 25 um, and we have two stickers we've got the cat and the dog again you'll see those come up on my channel in the near future um, and then I'll do a review video of probably all three of them when they're finished. So that was my uh, haul. I was going to do like pick up some diamond painting things and some um, other kinds of little kits that they had. But like I said, I was really hot, um, kind of uncomfortable and tired. And I just, I was over shopping by the time that I wandered into Dollarama. But um, of these three, what would you like to see me do first? Do you want to see the fun little bouquet, uh, the bird, similar to the one from last year, or one of the sticker pages? Um, I'd be curious to hear about that. So 
so now on to part two um, and some of the things well we'll talk about this one second and some of the things that I picked up so um, in the old port part of Quebec City there is a like woodworker shop guy selling like wood pieces carved pieces um, he was having a big 50% off sale so I picked up this little cat here he's teal or turquoise or sea foam or I don't know he's blue green he's really cool he matches one of the cats that I picked up in France so he's gonna live on the shelf with that him here's a photo of them hanging out together on my little cat shelf um, I'll have to look at the receipts but I think he was he was half off he was like eight dollars or six dollars or something like that so really cute he's got a flat back I just really kind of liked him and then when I found out that the whole store was 50% off I picked up this lovely baby it's too big to fit on the screen so there's a photo for you he's white he's distressed and he's got all of this really good like gold paint on him he looks really cool I picked him up thinking he'd fit out on my mantelpiece really well um, so again here there is a photo of him up but I really like him um, and it's from the name of the shop is has been on the screen for you as well I really really liked him um, he was expensive but like I said I got him 50% off so I couldn't resist um, and then uh, one day we went to the um, Orléans Island, Lille d'Orléans, and we stopped off at this Centre d'Art St. Lawrence, or Gallery d'Art and Boutique, um, and it's a little artist's collective full of 43 different artists um, that do all sorts of things. I was going to take photos and stuff like that, but I felt like a little bit awkward doing it, so... Um, I waited it's uh on uh it's in the saint lawrence section um of the ile d'orleans and it's just it's so cool it's such a cool place if you happen to be in quebec city or you're taking a visit to the island the island is just outside of the city it's like uh not even a 10 minute drive 15 minute drive it's a really cool place to check out so yeah, um, I picked up some stuff from there as well. I got this beautiful art card of the Montmorency Falls, which are also just outside of Quebec. I met the artist, Muriel Carpentier. Car Carpentier. Ooh, she's a painter. Um, and it's really beautiful. Her big works were amazing too, but I just didn't have... Uh, the budget or the space to be able to grab one of her like original paintings so I picked up this little card and I'm gonna frame it and it's gonna be awesome um, and then the first thing that I really was pulled to was this guy here he's got some slots on the top he was $12 it's originally designed to hold like playing cards right like if you look on this side their angles so that you can have like all you can see all of your cards at once Right, if you are holding a lot of cards in your hand. Um, I only bought one because I thought that I had hoped, I had no idea if it was gonna work or not, but I had hoped that it might be able to hold my um, cutting rulers. So I have a couple of these different sizes and they slot into here perfectly. So um, I'm gonna be able to like keep all of my rulers organized on this guy here. It's wide enough to fit my nine and a half inch ruler, which is absolutely awesome. So I love this thing and I'm very excited that it worked out. They also had um, smaller ones to hold like business cards and other kinds of cards. And there was a lot of really great choices to pick up. Um, but I just picked up this guy here. 12 bucks Canadian, like you can't go wrong with that. Um, and then I found a textile artist. Um, oh, so the, I don't know if I know the name of this person. Yeah, I don't know the name 
of the person who made this. There, it's signed on the bottom, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, and then the artist, I picked up a couple things from this weaver. Um, and it's beautiful. Her name is Chantelle Chenevere. Um, and yeah, so I got this guy here. This is a um, trivet, a souplat. So I thought the colors were beautiful. They're green and navy. And they have like um, multi-tones kind of running through it. Right? I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I picked this up for my neighbor as like a little gift. Because I thought she'd enjoy it. Then I also picked up, I went nuts at her shop. Like she wasn't there when I wandered in with my cousin, but she was like, she's the one that was um, uh, there to uh, check me out. And she was very excited that I grabbed so much stuff from her. So then I've got this, uh, Lange Vaisselle Le Carton. It's $18. Um, it's, Again, in the colors that I'm really pulled to. Um, lingerie vaisselle. It means like dishcloth, tea towel kind of idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out as a table runner. Because I think it's way too pretty to try dishes. Um, and any kind of dish towel that I have like that. It tends to get um, dirty and gross and messed up. And I think that this would just look really beautiful sitting in the middle of either my table or um, my uh, little buffet that I have in the dining room. So I picked that up. And then you're only gonna be able to see part of this because it's massive, but I also picked up like a rug for in front of my um, uh, laundry, in front of my kitchen sink. It's really, really long. Um, it's a, it's 31 inches by 66 inches. So that's like two and a half, almost or just over two and a half feet by what? Five feet almost 66, 72 is 12 or 72 is six, 60. Oh my gosh. Why can't I do that math? So five, well, five and a half feet, right? But look at those colors. They're, again, um, I don't know if you remember, but my kitchen walls are a, like a pale glacier blue. My uh, cabinets are gray. So I think these tones will work really well. Um, I have some navy going on. I've been looking for a rug that has some like red and navy and like blue in it with a bit of teal or turquoise. And this doesn't have like predominantly red or anything, but again, in the detailing, you can see that there's a lot of red running through it. So I think that'll look really, really cool. It's finished really beautifully as well on this side. Um, and I just, I absolutely love it. So um, you've seen photos of these as I've kind of gone through them. Um, and yeah, so uh, the last little thing I want to mention um, is a lovely little shop that we stopped at on our very last hours of our very last day. Um, it's this lovely little place. It's called the Little House, Le Petite Maison, I think, or something like that. La Maisonette Ile d'Orléans, Quebec, Canada. La Maisonette Ile d'Orléans. La Maisonette just means little house. Like cute little house on the island. And it's really, really cute. And it's really, really little, but it's packed full of really fun things like this hat. Sorcière Ile d'Orléans. Basically the witch of uh, the island. Right? It's really cute. Um, here's a photo of it propped up on my mannequin because, again, you'll probably never see my face on this channel. But I thought, how cute for a little gardening hat, right? Like, I just, I love it. I love it so much. It was $20. The lady there was absolutely amazing. She was really funny and, like, um, outgoing. And she made the whole um, experience 
just really fun. And I think that's it. I did, like, I picked up a gift for my husband. Actually, I have that right here, too. I'll show it to you. So this is not from the Artists Collective. This was from a, like, a farm stand, farm shop kind of thing um, in the town Raudon that we stayed at outside of Montreal. Raudon, Raudon. I don't know how to say that in French. R-A-W-D-O-N and it's um, a like a uh, bread in a can you just add beer so it's beer bread and I got um, lemon pepper lemon pepper beer bread so I thought that this would be cute for my husband's birthday it's coming up on July 14th so I just wanted to get him something like that. And then I got him a couple of other fun little things as well. So like it's still like a locally produced, handcrafted kind of thing from the area. Like it was all from that kind of area. It's from St. Julien, Quebec. So yeah, that's like an honorable mention. So yeah, these are the things that I picked up. What do you think? Do you love them as much as I do? Are you excited to go there? Have you been to the Ile d'Orléans? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Have you been to Quebec City or Montreal? Honestly, I didn't spend a lot of time in Montreal. Um, we stayed just outside in, um, like I said, the area of Raudon. Um, and it was just beautiful. We just spent like a few days in nature, kind of relaxing. Um, trying to settle down like my cousin love her to death but she uh she she likes to be on the move and like really plan things out and have really full days um and I just wanted the first few days of our vacation to feel like a vacation so um we kind of limited all of that and then when we were in Quebec it was more or Quebec City we were more like go 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 but um, so I didn't do a lot of shopping or anything there. I kind of saved that for my last few days in Quebec City. And this is what came from it. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Do you like all this stuff? Um, would you pick up any of it? Do you like the colors and the styling? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I know that this is not usual for this channel. I tend not to do like hauls, but I just kind of wanted to share some of the really cool artist stuff that I came across and um, I just, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to go. I have another couple of videos to film today. I always do this. I always stack videos together, but yeah. Um, so subscribe if you'd like. Um, this is a Monday video. Mondays are miscellaneous, usually unboxings, um, reviews, uh, I guess hauls, um, little mini projects, things like that. Wednesdays are dedicated sewing content. Um, I'm not sure what this Wednesday's going to hold. Um, I'm kind of in limbo on a lot of things. Um, and then Friday we are chucking, chucking, chugging along on our long-term Friday project. So yeah, if any of that stuff interests you, let me know, or um, let me know by subscribing. That was terrible. But yeah, um, comment, chat. I really like to hear all that stuff. So I, I'm going to go because I'm babbling like crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.